much. Teacher, I have five sentences. Another five sentences. <laughs> Another five sentences for our homework. Yes. Oh, you are using headphone also. Yes. Great. Is that new? Mm, yes, I use it. Uh, I really buy it. Oh, when did you buy that one? Um, I bought it. Uh, yes. Uh, last last week. Last week. That's great. So, can you hear me clearly now? Yes. Very good. And I'm also using headphones so that I can hear you clearly too. <clears throat> All right. So how are you, Ken? I didn't meet you yesterday because I have a cold. Sick. Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. But now I I'm feeling better. So we will continue our lesson. <clears throat> so what did you do I, yesterday? Uh, I do my the homework. I do in my pay uh my paper. Yes. Good job, Ken. I read so uh, anyway before we continue our homework uh, what did you do yesterday mm, I just uh, did the homework and play game and play games okay yes. that's great how about oh you're back in your house yes <laughs> you like it because <clears throat> last week you stayed in your big house, in your grandmother's yes. house, right? So that's yes. good. Okay, now, Ken. Uh, what was our homework last meeting again? Mm, the homework is uh, do recent, recent regular and regular verbs. Uh, I do uh, in 22. All right. So this one, I'm going to share my screen so that you can see it. Right, wait a moment. Teacher, my mom said I uh, have a new book. Oh, we will have a new book? Uh, my mom said it. Uh, Your mom have a new one. book. Right, your mom said that we will have a new book. Yes, I have new book here. Oh, where is it? New teacher. Can you wait? This book. That will be, oh. Personality. That be, okay, that will be our book for this class. All right. So now, Ken, I want you to answer mm -hmm. or read your answer in number twenty-two. Okay, teacher. Ah, oh, no, I, I, I do in uh number sixteen, mm. uh five, fifteen, and uh two. Thirteen. Fif oh, fifteen. All right. We will start in number fifteen. So, can you read your answer in number fifteen? Yes. If it, uh fifteen uh. The, the, uh, he didn't find neither uh, did, uh, did he, uh, number five, uh, I don't know to do it. <laughs> right, number 15, you forgot to do it? No, I okay. not forgot, I don't know. Oh, you don't know, all right, here. Okay, wait a moment. <clears throat> Can you see my screen here? Yes, it's. You forgot right. to share me. It's so small. Okay, about now. Is it so small? No, it's very big. Oh, it's very big. How about this one? No, it's good. Here. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let's answer number 15. I asked you to write the past simple, a regular or irregular verbs. <clears throat> okay, so in number 15, he not find the key. This is a question, right? You're going yes. to say, didn't he find the key? Yes. Didn't he find the key? All right, next, number 16. Number 16, did Tom uh, at work? Did 
Tom at work? Yes. All right. Did Tom at work? Or you can say, does Tom at work? Right? Teacher, but uh, the, the past symbol, not present symbol. All right. That's why we use did, right? When we say does, it's not past yes. symbol. Okay, you very good. Yes. Okay, because the past simple is the word deed. How about number 17? Number 17 is why why do uh, why did why they uh, why they didn't tell me the truth about <coughs> it. All right, very good. Why they didn't tell me the truth about it. Very good, yes. number 18. Number eighteen is uh, he never he never drove faster than himself. Uh, can you watch me? All right. Yes. Okay, yeah. I really All right, hello. Under. Okay. All right, how about number 18? You said he never drove faster than he should. Okay, yes. so the past tense of drive is drove. Very good. How about number 19? 19, we didn't, we didn't walk a long way. All right, we didn't walk a long way. Number 20. Did you have a comfortable trip? Uh, what is your answer in number 20? Uh, 20 is, did you have a comfortable trip? All right, very good. You used did. Did you have a comfortable trip? Very good. Next, number 21. When did she wash the car? All right, when did you wash the car? Next, number 22. Did you visit? Uh, did you, did you visit? Your grandparents last week. All right. How about you, Ken? Did you visit your grandparents last week? No, teacher. No. <laughs> oh, uh, I in, thought. No, in in Friday I go back my house. All right. In Friday, you go back in your house. Okay. All right. How about twenty three? Twenty three is uh. <laughs> did the teach uh the teacher um uh, did the teacher talk uh did the the teacher talk to Peter at the lesson? Mm hmm Very good. Did the teacher the did teacher them. didn't right? The teacher yes. didn't talk Peter about the lesson. Very good. How about twenty four? Twenty four is this. Uh, didn't she buy a blue jacket? Uh huh. <clears throat> Are we going to write the word did or she first? Yes. She. All right. She didn't, right? She didn't buy a blue jacket. Very good. 25. This she, uh, I think this wrong grammar. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> she didn't. All right. This is a question, right? Okay. okay, she didn't buy a blue jacket. Okay, you're going to say, yes, did no. she, <clears throat> didn't uh, she buy a blue jacket? Yes. All right, very good. Number 25. What color did they uh, paint the room, their room? Uh, okay, what color did they paint the room? Very good, next. He's... He fight. Uh, he did fight. 
the key is what a phone five is five phone all right <clears throat> he found the key on his way home right what is yeah. the question here uh i think found found very good next blank she know all the students name uh did she know the older student names <clears throat> All right, did she know all the students' names? Very good, we're almost done. All right, how about number 28? They, uh, uh, they did the return at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. Very good, 29. They, they didn't leave the books at home. They, they left them at school. All right, they left them at school, very yes. good. And number 30, what is number 30? Number 20, uh, 20 is, uh, uh, 30 is, he is, he didn't wear the outfits, he, he, he. Oh, what is that? I can see it properly, all right, wait. Okay, here. He didn't wear the old jeans, he. <laughs> Uh, he wear, uh, no, he, uh. What is the past tense of wear? Wear, wore. Very good. He wore the new ones. Okay, good job, Ken. Yes. So, you got a perfect score for this homework. Very good. You know the regular and irregular verbs. So, what does it mean again when we say regular? Regular is, uh. These uh, are the verbs. Is change. <clears throat> change with and past tense that is ending with ed, right? ED, yes. How about irregular verbs? Uh, you change it in verb three. Yes, very good. You're not going to add ed for their past tense. It will change like where, were. Sleep, yes. slept. Those are reg irregular verbs. So good job, Ken. And because of that, <coughs> teacher Michelle will give you a reward. Mm. <laughs> okay, teacher Michelle will give you five, nine. Oh, you got nine? All right, can you count all your stars? Uh, one, two, How many is this? Uh, this is... Uh, 12, the 12 star. All right, 12. Are you sure there's only one? There's another one here. Oh, 30, 30 star. All right, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 stars. <laughs> All right, very good, Ken. So thank you so much for doing your homework. You did a very good job in this homework. So now we will continue our lesson, okay? Okay, sir. All right, here. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so last meeting, we are almost no. done. My mom said, uh, have a book, a new book. Oh, you have a new book? But, yes. but they didn't give me the new book. Oh, my God. Okay, uh, wait, okay, um, oh, wait, sure. wait, wait a moment. All right, just give me a second. Okay, teacher. Hmm. I can see your new book here. The the sensor or Miss Sam didn't give me your book yet. Maybe tomorrow. Oh. Okay. okay teacher. All right. Oh. Maybe maybe I will ask Miss Sam um later and then ask her about the new book. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. So maybe you can also ask her, all right? After mm -hmm. our class so that we can have our new book tomorrow. Why do you like to change the book now? Because it is easy for you, right? No, oh, I don't know. My mom <laughs> say all right your okay. mom said okay so it's okay 
So now, can we will continue our lesson here? So last meeting we have learned about past simple so tense. Sure. Yeah. All right. So now we will move on to. All right. Do you still remember the sound? Yes. What is the sound? Oh, okay. Shh. Very good. How about this one? Okay. Uh huh. It's ch ch. Ch ch. Very good. Ch ch. All right, so now can we, this is the the slide that we will uh, need to continue today. All right, so here we're going to read about Chad and Shane. This is what sound is this one, Chad? Chad a ch. Very good. How about Shane? <laughs> okay, so let's read again. It's like shadow. It's like shadow. Shadow? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, shadow. 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 Okay, next one, Ken. We have? Uh, chat. Chat and Shane like together every day after school. They like to ride their bikes in the city. Chuck will be glasses send the screen. Oh. Wait, wait, Ken, how about this one? Chad will? Chase Shen. Okay, next. Then uh, Shen will chase Chad. Oh, who, who is Who is it? Chad and Shen. Okay, next. Sometimes they go to the gym and play tennis or basketball. At night, they will rush home and chat the internet, chat and sh chat and shank a very good friend. All right, very good friends. Now, can can you find the words with sh sound? Okay, sure. Mm, tell me the words with sh sound. Oh, uh, sh uh, uh, um. The, here, here, in, in this story, Ken, in this story. Uh, 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 in the story, Shane. Shane, very good. Next. Mm, mm, school. I'm not school. Uh, About here. Rush. Rush? Okay, very good. We have rush. Okay, how about the the sound ch ch? Uh, ch. Mm. Chat. Chat. Very good. What else? Uh, case. Case. All right. Good job. Next. How about uh, here? Chase. Oh yes, we are done with Chase. Okay, how about here in this paragraph here? Okay. Uh Jim. Jim. Jim? Ch j ch j j I think it's different. Okay, we have here. Can here. Okay, sure. Alright, the word chat. Chats, yes. Yeah, chats, okay. So, good job. Next one, we will read the story about luck and key again, all right? Okay, sure. Okay. I read it. Yes, you can read luck and key. Uh, uh, what did you say about what is I do? What all right, I'm, I I'm, must. I'm, I'm, all right, can you say, um, what are you going to do? What am I going to do, teacher? Uh, what I am going to do, teacher? All right, this one. You're going to read the story about luck and key, and then I'm going to ask you questions about this story okay sure. uh, in new book 
uh, not have look and key. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, <laughs> did you read it already? How about what? What is the story in the new book? Uh, do we have uh, Do we have a story also? Uh, yes. I uh, know. No, this. Uh, uh, do we have a new story? No. Okay. Oh, I we I know you will miss luck and key. No, I'm not having luck and key too. Uh, you read. You read one is about personality. All right, about personality. Yeah. Okay. So I'm very excited to have your new book also. Maybe tomorrow we will have your new book. I will ask uh, the center. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. So now, can okay, let's read the story, Luck and Key. Luck and Key. Hello, Peter. What are you doing here? I got two tickets for my school show on Wednesday. Would you like to come? Yes, please, Peter. Which show are you doing? We are doing Peter Pan. Pupils and par parents are in it. Thanks. We are. Oh, I can hear she. Oh, oh we, this is small. Oh, I think we are done with this one. This yes. story, right? Is this another? Uh, oh, Nick Motors, right? Yes. Okay, so we finished this one last week. So, Ken, well done. We are done with this unit about <clears throat> unit 14 after school club. So now we will move on to another unit. It is unit 15, exploring the world. I mean, exploring our world. Can you say it again? Exploring our work, work. world. Oh. All right. Oh, explore. All right, yes. When we say explore, Ken, what does it mean? When we say ex uh, explore or exploring? You, you travel or some, somewhere. All Have right, very good. You? We travel somewhere. I want to explore the cave. <laughs> you want to explore the cave? All right. When we explore, it's like a travel, right? We yes. will go to some places. Okay, like here, we explore in space. We explore in the ocean. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Okay, teacher. All right, now, Ken, here in this unit, we will learn another regular and irregular verbs in the past simple tense. Okay? okay. Another one in pronunciation. Pronunciation. All right, uh, in pronunciation, we have. All right. We will learn about the pronunciation um, ST, SPTR, and SK. Okay? Okay, so we're going to learn about this later. And in grammar, we're going to describe actions in the past with time. Comparative structure with more. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right. So here, in warm up, what did you do yesterday, Ken? Mm, I did uh, do homework. All right, you did your homework. What else aside from um, doing your homework? Mm. Uh, I, I do is your homework. Mm -hmm. your homework. Oh, you only did your homework. Yes. Okay. So now, Ken, let's um, talk about your activities yesterday using past time later on okay okay sure all right what time you did you do your homework uh i do my homework at six o'clock six ah. o'clock no, no 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 i do homework is after class after your online class yes all right, so you can say, um, I did my homework yesterday after class. Can you say it again? I did my homework yes, uh, yesterday after 
Douglas. All right, very good. So now, Ken, I'll give you another activity here. You're going over here. You're going to tell me or say in our class what are the regular verbs and which are irregular verbs here, okay? So you can choose the verbs here in this sentence, I mean, in these uh, choices. Okay. All right, okay. all right. So we have for first, first the uh, regular verbs. All right. Can you tell me the regular verbs again? Uh, okay, sure. Regular verbs is uh, first uh, watch it. All right, very good. Watch. Can you say watch? Watch. Okay, very good. Next, we have number two. Number two is uh, lie. Mm, lie? L -E -I -L -I -E. Where is that? Lie, you lie me. Here, here, you can choose here. Do I we have do. lie here? Do we have lie? Where is lie here? I can see it. Oh, two in this? Yes, you're going to choose here, okay? Okay, this All one. right, choose the regular verbs, play. okay? Play. Play, yes, very good, play. Next, number three, we have? Stay. Stay, all right, number four. Number four is, uh, number four is, um, pair. Help. All right, very good. Help. Number five. Number five is. Talk. Oh, no. All right. No, 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 teacher. Talk? Walk. How about talk? Talk is talk. All right, very good. Talk is a regular verbs. We also have walk, right? Number seven. Uh, me, no. Seven here, you can choose here. Yet, uh, not have. We does it have? Yes, make it. Our, make, I think make. Make, all right. You said make, are you sure? No. Okay, no, very good. How about here? Dances. Dance, all right, dance. Okay, next one. Number eight. Number eight is... Uh, Uh, number eight is the uh, sleep, study, study. All right. Oh, okay. So we have sl sleep is a regular verb. Are you sure? No, study. Oh, study. I okay. said study. Oh, I thought it's sleep. All right, study. Okay, next, number nine. Number nine is uh, not half. All right, number nine. Okay, so can we also have another regular verbs here, like stopped and skipped, right? Because we're going to add ed at the end. Yes. yes, very good. Okay, so we will add that one. We have stopped and number stop and number 10, we have skipped. Okay, so now how about a irregular verb scan? Regular yeah. verbs. What is uh, number one? Number one is uh is uh go see do go see do lose go see do alright go see do number okay very good number all right we have go see do what else. Uh, lose. Lose. Speak. Speak. Give. Give. Uh, make it. Make it. It. Drink. Drink. Very good. Then stop. Skip. 
Let's list them. All right. Okay. How about how about okay? We also have sleep, came, and seeing. Yes. All right. How about take? Talk. All right. Uh, okay. Very good. How about carry? Uh, carry is carry it. All right. Carry. It. That's a regular verb. Okay. Good job, Ken. Now. Next one, we're going to read about this one, okay? Mr. Bean. It's Mr. Bean? <laughs> is this Mr. Bean? Do you like no. Mr. Bean? Yes, Mr. All Bean right. is die. Mr. Bean is die? Yes. All right, you can say Mr. Bean is dead. Ah, uh, dead. Oh, okay. All right, now, Ken, let's read and find the words that are written in past simple tense, okay? So let's read first the story. Uh, farmer uh, explores his so a nip, a nip, shackleton, shackleton, wanted to cross a check, a taxi ticket in, in, uh, in in, in 1914. In 1914. 1914. In 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 Oh, oh, uh, snow in night. Mm -hmm. Where are you now, Ken? Here. Yes. When it, they? When they lost their All ship. All right, can you say lost? They lost? Lost their ship when it yeah. went uh, down in the ice water. They could move because the weather was terrible. They caught fish and drank water, which they got from snow. Later, they had to eat their dogs. Shackleton. 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 And some of his men limped over right, mountains. say climb, climb. Climb, climb over mountain of ice found head and went back for the older men. Everybody came home uh, for years after she years. Start, or ye, after she start up uh, their expedition. Expansion. Right, can you say can you say expedition? Expedition. They okay. did they didn't trust and Character. All right, so Ken, <clears throat> I want you to read again the following words. We have the word. How are you, how are you going to read this word again? Uh, what is this uh, word we have? We have uh, famous. All right, we have famous. Okay, next one, we have the word. Appendition. All right, can you say ex expedition? Expedition. All right, very good. Next one, we have the word uh, here, this word. Couldn't. All right, very good, couldn't. Next. They caught. They caught, very good. Can you say caught? Caught. It, when we say caught, it is the past tense of? Mm. Past tense of? I don't know the show. Past tense of catch, right? Or oh, can you wait? Okay, sure. All right. When we say caught, it is the past tense of the word catch. Okay? Okay. Catch. All right. How about this word? Climb. It. All right. Climb. Can you say climb? climb. It's like you. All right. It's like the. Uh, it's like you are pronouncing this word climb. Okay? Right here, climb. Climb. All right, very good. So now, Ken, I want you to 
I want you to tell me the words that are written in the past simple tense. Okay, teacher. You're going to find the words that are written in the past simple tense. Yeah. They lost the ship when it are right here. Okay, here in this first sentence, Ken. Look at this first sentence. Where is the past simple there? In the first I... sentence. We have a wanted, right? Yes. That is past simple. How about in the second sentence? Started. All right, very good. Started. Next. Closed. We have closed. Closed. All right, can you say closed? Next, in closed. the third sentence. They uh, took. All right, very good. They took. And next, what else? Uh, is uh, they lost? Okay, we also have another one here. Made, right? Okay. Okay. Next one. They lost. Very good loss. Next. Went. All right. Very good. Went. Next one. What else? Was. Was all right. Next, drank. They yes, they we have here caught and drank. All right. Next one, we also have here got. Okay, another one. Later they had to eat their dogs. Had. All right. Had. All right, okay. Next. Climb. All right. Can you say climb? Climb. Okay, next one. Went. Okay, went and found, right? Wow. Found and went. And the last sentence. Is Spanish. I uh, no, didn't. All right, we have didn't and came. Okay. So they didn't cross Antarctica because of uh, uh, ice, uh, right? Yes. Okay. So very good. Now let's move on to another one. Here, Ken, we will learn about the vocabulary um, time in the past. Okay, so okay. we are going to learn about time in the past. We have number one, yesterday, a number. When we see a number, uh, Ken, you're talking about seconds, minutes, okay. hours, yeah. days, weeks, and months, and years plus ago. Okay, plus ago. Okay. All right, we have another here, last. We can say last week, last month, last, week, last, last year. Month. The weekend dies in the week. All right, like last Monday, last Tuesday. Okay, those are the days in the week. We also have here in past month, in January. How about you? Can you give me an example? Using in plus month. In Monday, in the past, in the past. All right, here in plus month can in plus month. Okay, for example, yeah. for example, in January. How about okay. you? Can you give me an example? Okay. It in March. All right, very good. In March, in May, in June. Okay. Yeah. Next one, another is in plus year in the past. Year in the past, for example, in two thousand. How about you? Yes, how about you, Ken? Can you give me an example? Um, 100,000 years. Uh, <laughs> in 100,000 years? Yes. All right, okay. Okay, Ken, you can say in 1999, in 2005, in 2006, okay? Okay, yeah. All right, another one is in the past. Another is a few. Oh, We're going yeah. to use a few if you're talking about seconds, a few seconds, a few minutes, a few hours, a few days. Nice. Week, months, years ago. Okay, another one, many. 
Okay. Many seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years ago. So we are going to make sentences using time in the past. Okay. For example, for example, Ken. Uh, now let's come for a. Uh, uh, Combine. In example, a few days ago, she went to camping with her classmates. They have fun. They buy their new house last year. All right, very good. Can now, can you tell me what is uh, the past simple here using past tense? Past tense. Past simple. I mean, yes, past simple using time. We use a few days ago, right? Okay. Sure. You add few days ago and then you add went. About here. They bought their new house last year. All right. So you use the word past tense build and then you add the time last year. Okay. Okay. Sure. All right. So another one. Uh, all right, next one, Ken. You're going to read and match the numbers with the letters, then retell the story, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, so we have here letter A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So look carefully at the picture. All right, number one. Can you read number one, Ken? Last week, David's class went to a museum. First, All right. walked it. First day, walk around an exhibition about explorers. Number three. Number three, they could read its glass. Okay, you wait. I, I choose the number. All right. Yes. Okay, how about let's choose the letter first, okay? So in number one, last week, Davis class went to a museum. Can you uh, find the picture? In letter, in letter F. Letter F. Okay, very good. In letter F, they went to a museum. Okay, very good. How about number two? First, they walk around an expedition about explorers. Uh, it's number letter, letter B. Letter B. 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 Oh. What do you think is the answer? Mm. Now, later, 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 around about its plus a letter D. It's letter D. They walk around. Okay, uh, let's write. Us uh, letter H. Letter H. Uh, letter I. <laughs> what? Ken, let's read all first the sentences here, okay? What's last week, I okay, I will read, okay, first. Last week, David's class went to a museum. First, they walk around an expedition, an oh, exhibition about explorers. They could read explorers' diaries, so it was really exciting. Before, before lunch, they made a poster about famous explorers. Five. After lunch, they found the museum shop and David got a toy polar bear for his sister. Six, in the afternoon, they went to an exhibition about sea animals. Before they came home, David took a photograph of his friends. At three o'clock, they caught the bus home. So you are correct here. Number one is letter F. Yes. Okay, letter F. Letter F. Next. Number two is letter, letter I. Uh, e. Letter E. Okay, very good. Letter E. All right, number three. They could read explore this, so it was really exciting. Uh, letter, letter B. Letter B? No, D. Letter D. Okay, very good. It's letter D, how about number four? Before lunch, they make a pasta about farmers is Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, letter right. I. 
Letter A. Okay, very good. Letter A. They made the poster. Okay, number five. Mm. After lunch, they uh, found the museum shop. Let's, uh, David I... got, got a toy. Polar uh, bear. Oh, uh, letter G. Letter G, okay, very good. How about number six? In the afternoon, they went to an exhibition about seal animals. Oh. Sea animals. Sea animal is I. All right, very good. It's letter H. Okay, yeah, letter, letter B. All right, very good. And last one we have letter. It's letter C. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait. No, no, let, not letter B. <laughs> okay, Before number seven. Number seven first. The, uh, number seven is uh, letter C. Seven? Eight. Let All right, very good. Letter C and, and number again, eight. Letter B. Okay, very good, Ken. You got 10 out of 10 here. Okay, how about you, Ken? When you are in school, did you also go in the exhibition class or a trip? Yes. Yes. All right, very good. So, how was your experience? How was your field trip? Mm -hmm. No, in in the it's not I don't have a field trip because in COVID. Yes, because of COVID nineteen. How about before? Before, before when we I, don't. No, before I so small. I just study in grade four, so I can't go to the trip. All right. <laughs> so you never tried. Yes. All right. Maybe when you grow up, when you finish primary. You can go to a trip and it's very fun. Okay, you can learn many things. I don't think so. I don't Why? Think it's Why can you don't want to go there? No, I want, but uh, uh, if if I go there, um, the the house is very busy. <laughs> All right, the house is busy. That's why you can go all right so how about here ken we will <clears throat> practice your speaking skills so you are going to apply the structure to answer the following questions okay but ken before we do this one we will have an activity here okay, okay. what what are you going to do is um you're going to make sentences using the time in the past, like yesterday, okay? Okay, Alicia. Number, last week, in last month. Last week, in month, in the past, a few, many. All right, so again, I want you to make a five sentences using time in the past, okay? For example, I will give you an example. I... <clears throat> I went to my school yesterday. Okay, Alicia. All right. I went to the school yesterday. But don't use yesterday only, okay? Okay, you last week and last month and last All year. Right. Yes, very good. Five sentences. You can tell me if you are done. I read it. Yes, you can read your answer if you're okay. done, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank 
Teacher, just five sentences. Yes, yes, can five sentences. You're okay. done. No. Not because yet. Because I, I not have I idea. <laughs> you don't have any idea. Just try, okay, and then we will check okay. your sentence later. Okay, teacher. Teacher, can you wait me? Yes, yes. Can you wait for me? Uh, can you wait for me? Okay.
Hello, Disha. All right, are you okay now? You finished now? Yes. All right, let's try to uh, write your sentences here, okay? Okay. All right, what is number one? Number one is uh, I uh, I went to the zoo last year. All right, I went to the zoo last year. All right, very good. Next, number two. I ate noodles yesterday. All right, very good. I ate noodles yesterday. Three. I played it. I played the game. Uh, I watch it. Okay, I watch. I watch it. The. Uh, when you watch say watch, watch, watch. watch. TV yesterday. Uh, um, last month. Last month. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Next number four. I uh, I surfed the internet. I stopped. Surfed. Surf. Okay, very good. I surf the internet. The internet. The internet. Oh, the internet. Um. Uh. How about uh, in 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 uh, in in July. In July. Yeah. Can July. you say July? July. Live, very good. Next one. Yeah, How about uh, a few? You should use another one like uh, a few. Okay, teacher. Or a number um, of seconds. Next one. I I played badminton a while a while a while ago. All right, I played um, basketball. Badminton. Oh, badminton. <laughs> I think I have a poor uh, listening comprehension. <laughs> okay, here. Oh. I played badminton a while ago. All right, very good. You used the word a while ago. So let's check your sentences here. So I went to the zoo last year. You used the verb uh, went in the time in the past last year. Very good. Number two, I ate. Noodles yesterday, very good. Three, I watch. You're always uh, saying watch it. Okay, it's watch. Okay, what? last month. All right, very good. Four, I surf. Mm, surf. Okay, I surf the internet in July. Very good. Number five. I, like I played, yes, I played badminton a while ago. Very good. Okay, here you got. One, okay, you got uh, five eight. over five. Okay, very good. So you know how to make sentences using uh, past simple with a time in the past. Good job, Ken. So now let's move on to another one <clears throat> here in speaking. In speaking, we're going to answer the following questions using time in the past. Okay. Okay. Sure. All right. So we have number one. Number one is actually the here. So, uh, what did you do last weekend? All right, you're going to try to answer this question. What did you do last weekend? Uh, I, I, I did my homework. All right, can you say it again? Last weekend? Last weekend, I, I did my homework. All right, very good. Or you can say, I did my homework last weekend. Okay, very good. Number two. Uh, where did you travel last year? Mm, last year, where did you travel? Uh, I traveled to Maldives last year. All right, very good. They traveled to Maldives last year. Okay, very good. Number three, did you go on a picnic last month? Mm, 
Tell me about it. Did you go on a picnic last month? Mm. Did you? No, I didn't. All right, very good. Can you say, I didn't go on a picnic last month? Yes. Oh, can you say it again? I did. Uh, no, I didn't. I, uh, no, I didn't. Go? Uh, I didn't go on a picnic last month. All right, very good. So thank you so much, Ken, for answering this one. And now let's move on to another one. <clears throat> we will talk about comparative structures with more. Ken, are you familiar with degrees of comparison? Okay, sure. Are you familiar with that? Or do you know the degrees of comparison? Yes. Okay, what are the three degrees of comparison? Can you give uh, an example? Uh, what is evolution? All right, degrees of comparison. Okay, so we all right. I'll show you an example. Can wait a moment. Hmm. Wait, I'll show you the example. Okay. All right, this one can. <clears throat> All right, here. All right, can you see it, Ken? Can you see my screen? Yes. All right, so these are degrees of comparison. So it means you are comparing the adjective, okay? okay. I know this. All right, you know this one. So this yes. is what we call degrees of comparison. We have big, bigger, and biggest, okay? Okay, so when we say big, this is the positive degree. Comparative, this is big, super bigger, and superlative, biggest. Okay. Yes. So now in this, um, in this example, Ken, you are going. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so here again, we're going to uh, write comparative structure with more, okay? Okay, sure. More. So what are the um, comparative again with ER, right? Yes. Okay, but here we're going to write or add more with long adjectives. Okay, okay. what are long adjectives, Ken? What are long adjectives? They are the adjectives with two or more syllabuses. Oh. Okay, such as beautiful. How many, how many syllabus? Uh, yes. Who, who, are you, uh, who are you talking with? Right. Okay, yes, very good. How many syllables are there in the word um, beautiful? Who are you talking with? Huh? <laughs> I'm not talking with someone. Okay, here again. How a many gossip? syllables? Yes. Oh my gosh, you're seeing a gust again. Okay, here again. How many syllables are there in the word beautiful? Beautiful. We have three, right? 
beautiful. How about exciting? How many syllables do we have? Exciting. Exciting is uh, three, uh, two, sign and two, uh, three, three syllables. Yeah, three syllables. How about interesting? Interesting, three, two. Three also very good. Yes. So that's correct. Okay. So now, can we are going to add the word more? We're going to add more from these adjectives with more than two syllables. Okay. For example, uh, more beautiful, more exciting, and more interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Why? Why are you laughing? I think you're also talking with someone. Are you talking do you know? Do you know my house? My house has uh, just one lot. Are you sure? Yes. Oh my gosh. Who I, is I, that? See, I, I see it. And Who is that your back I, I, I'm very scared. Who is that your back? I think I can see a white girl. Is yeah. that a woman? No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Just, I, I think a man ago is uh, is the a good man. I think he's a good. Uh, she he is a good man. <laughs> he's just a good man. Okay, I'll show you some examples here. How are you going to add more with these um, adjectives? We have more beautiful, more That exciting. My interesting. More my interesting. More boring. More boring. <laughs> boring. Okay. So now, Ken, let's continue okay. to another. Okay. All right. So In here. Okay. I'll show you more examples here. All right, for example, can this one. So we have here. Or right, here again, we have here some adjectives <coughs> with one syllable, two syllable, and three, syl three or more syllables of adjectives. For example, long, that is only one syllable. We're not going to use more here, okay? Yeah. Yes. Are you with me? Okay, just like this one, like more expensive, more dangerous, more popular, more beautiful, more confident, and more difficult. Okay? Okay, teacher. All right. Uh, so now I say with you one uh, uh one question. Yes, what is your question? Do you believe a uh, spread to stories are true? Huh? Do I believe in a spiritual? Stories are true. Stories? Why? Do you have some spiritual stories? Yes. What is that? Can you tell me about it? Uh, um, I, I, I get a uh, in last year, I get uh, I get up at three um three a.m. and I see I go to the toilet, but uh it I has, went I went to I the get, toilet. I I I I sleep down uh I sleep in the floor I, I not sleep in the bed because uh last year have my uh, my 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 brother. Uh, my sister, small sister, mm -hmm. and this is too. Uh, too. I very, uh, I very scared about it. And um, I go, to, I, I stand up and I go to the toilet and I see my sister. Uh, up. Oh, up. Wake up in the snow. Yes, wake up and look at me. It's very the eyes very uh circle and I so. Scared. I'm not scared, so uh, I I think uh, my sister. I go uh, I I stand up and have a. Uh, oh my It's set up uh, and has has a noise and. Uh, you heard some noise. Yes. 
have a note. I think just I think and my sister go uh, stand up and look at me. It's so scary. But scary. I just yes, but I just think um, my sister. I, I stand up and have a noise. So um, I go to the toilet and go back. I I see my sister sleep and I sleep too. And tomorrow I uh, I see uh, in the morning. Uh, in the morning I ask with my sister about the story and. My sister say, no, I'm not, I not, I, I don't know what, uh, what did you, uh, what did you do, and what did you say? I don't understand. And, oh, so and, your sister and I does... go to, yes, and I go to YouTube and this side have a. <sighs> oh, that's scary. No. So that was your, that was your scary story. Oh, no, teacher, is uh in YouTube say. Uh, uh, have, have a child. Uh, have a child to follow, and I so scared now. Uh huh. Child to follow. <laughs> All right. So you think that there is a ghost and there's yes. something, there's yes, something it, wrong. Yeah. No, it's not wrong. You're it's, scared. It's very same same in the YouTube side. Oh, like a paranormal activity. You know that one? Paranormal? Yes. I'm so scared. <laughs> but be thankful that it didn't happen again. Yes. It didn't uh, happen again, right? That's yes. the first time. That's the first and last time you experience that. That's why, Ken, if it is already late at night, you should not walk around. You should sleep already, okay? Yes, I go look, I stand up at, uh, and I look at the, I look at the clock is t uh, 3 a.m. Right, look, 3 a.m. That's yes, so early. It's, it's no, it's very early and it's uh, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. not 3, 1 or 2, 3, just 3. 3 a.m. It's in the midnight, right? Yes. Okay, it's dawn. That's why uh, you ask your mom or dad to go, um, ask them to go with you, okay? Yes, uh, uh, my mom say... My mom said? My mom say, uh, my sister is... Um, is Sleepwalking. Oh yeah, just sleepwalking. No, no, but but I stand up and I uh go I I I um turn right and I see my sister go up to. And I saw my sister walking Wait, around, right? Yes, walking oh around. Oh my gosh! I, you know what? Uh, it's a very. Um, uh, scary. It's scary. No, it's not. Yeah, All it's right. scary and and that coincident. This coincident. Not an accident. Okay, so now can if it will happen again, of course you need to, um, you need to wake up your. Yes, I uh I but uh in in this time I I don't know uh my my sister wake up. All right, that's I why you need to sleep. You need to sleep with your sister, okay? Because yeah. it might yeah. happen again. It might happen again. That's why you need to um, look at your look at your sister, okay? No, oh, I don't want to do that. Again. Right. This is scary. In, <laughs> you don't want in, you don't want to sleep with your sister again? No. <laughs> okay. So now, Ken, thank you for sharing your story. Maybe you can think of another story again and then I, share it in our class. No, I don't want to share it again. <laughs> okay, you know what? Tomorrow I will share my story also about those ones. Oh, Do you, you want have, me to share? You have it? You yes, have, you have. I have. I have many experiences with that. Uh, tomorrow. My, I will share said, it tomorrow. Uh, my mom said everyone uh, has have uh everyone has everyone have uh it's like uh, experience it's 
is shall follow, but uh, the shall is nasty or uh, uh, good or uh, better or uh, worse. All right. Yes, but, your uh, mom is right. But uh, but a uh, good. I think the soul me is the soul. Is it the soul? Uh, the sh S -S soul. 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 Yes, soul. Can you say soul? Sure. Yes, of course. We all have souls. Okay. We okay. all have souls. Okay. So now, can all right? We will continue our lesson already. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now. Uh, all right. So when are we going to use more again? When are we going to use more? If the adjective it's has three. All right. We're going to use more. More. All right. Yes. We're going to use more. If the adjectives has two or more syllables, okay? Yes. All right, very good. So another one. <clears throat> All right, here. The next one, Ken, we have. So what does the structure look like? Let's see. All right, so comparative structure with more. So this is the structure. This is how are you going to write it in a sentence, okay? okay. So we have the subject, okay. be verbs plus more plus the long adjective. Long adjective means two or more syllables, okay? Then and object. You're going to use then and the object, okay? Very good. So number two, uh, things to remember. Subject and object can be in singular or plural form. Okay. Okay. All right. And this is the example. Can you read the example? Example. Carlo are uh, more than the um are uh, more beautiful than elephants. All right. Very good. Where is the subject? We have the parrots here. We have the be verbs are the word comparative more. And more the adjective beautiful, beautiful and than. Don't forget than. using than, okay? Yes. And the object, we have the elephants. Next one. Next one is the city is more modern than the village. All right. The city is more modern. How many syllables is the word modern? How many uh, syllables? It's just two, but a uh, half more. Modern, two syllables, right? Yes. Okay, you use more. And then don't forget to use then. All right. Yes. Okay, so now can I will give you your homework, okay? This will be your homework. Okay. Um, yeah. But we are not yet done, okay? Homework, you're going to make um, five examples of um comparative with more comparative oh. more in a sentence okay examples make five examples of comparative more in a sentence okay okay sure uh, that will be your homework tomorrow so first, let's move on to the next one. Teacher. Uh, yes. Uh, I not study uh, music. Uh, it's I very, uh, I very uh, have a long, have a lot of time today. All right. Can you say, I have lots of time today. Yes, and, and oh. I can do your homework. Wow, that's great. You don't have to study music. You're studying music class also? No, and uh, have a math, uh, math lesson too. All right, math lesson also. Okay, so now can we have here a look at this example. So think of some sentences with these adjectives. We have boring, exciting, beautiful, difficult, easy. easy. All right. Okay, you are going to make examples or sentences using these adjectives. Okay, sure. Can right. you see me? Oh, oh, yes. Can you see my screen? Yes, can you see, share me your screen? Um, oh, you cannot see it? Wait. How about now? Okay, sure. 
All right, so can we have here an example? I think the book about spiders is more beautiful no. than the book about football. So we use the word beautiful. Okay, so okay. you still have yeah. uh, four sentences like boring, setting, difficult, and easy. Uh, to make a sentence. Yes, you're going to make sentences. Oh, using... can, you, can you say me the uh, the uh, you say me your the picture a picture? Oh, you cannot see my screen. No, I see your screen, but can you say me your picture? I will. In chat box. All right. Chat okay. Box. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, this is the example. I think the book about spiders, where's the spider, this one. I think oh, the book about spider. spiders is more beautiful than the book about football. Okay? Yes. All right, so we still have one, two, three, four books here. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, five, uh, six book. Yes, we have six books. I write now. Yes, yes. You I can read. You can read your sentence. Oh, this is not a homework. No, no, no. It's not a homework. Oh, why you say homework? Make fashion example oh. of com comparative. Wow. Right, that is your homework tomorrow. That will be your homework tomorrow. But this one is our activity today because oh. we still have time, okay? Okay, teacher. Um, yes, I, I think the... I think uh, I think the book of uh, lion and a mouse is boring than the book about playing football. All right, we have. I think the book about the lion and the mouse is more boring than the book about football. Very good. Next one, exciting. Uh. I think the book about the dog so is exciting than the book about the little red hen. Where is the word more? I can't hear you saying the word more. Yes, more exciting. <laughs> more exciting. Very good. Then, I think. All right. I think the book about the dog show is more exciting than the book about. The little yeah. red hen. Very good. How about difficult? Uh, I think the book about spider is uh, uh is more difficult than the book about playing football. <laughs> okay. Last one, easy. Yeah. About easy. Uh, Last one, Ken. Yes. Um, I think the book uh. Playing football is easy than the book in spider. Uh huh. Easy. Where the where is the word more? No, Hannah have more easier. All right, can we can say more easy? Oh my god. Oh, more easy. Oh no. All right. Easy. You say easier is good. E Yes, very good. We use easier, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I think the book about spider is easier than the book yes. about, then about well, spider. Very good. So now, Ken, do you have any question about this one? Uh, not sure. Okay, you don't have any question. That's good. All right, so now, Ken, I will ask you some questions. Are you excited? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Are you sleepy now? <laughs> no, I'm not sleeping now. I, uh, after class, I will do humble and play game. Yay. Mm -hmm. 
your mom will let you play when you finish your homework, right? And and yes, and tomorrow I have a new book too. Yes. Okay, I will ask the center to send me your new book. Okay. okay so now sure. can. Hmm. All right, now can. What are the things you have learned from Unit 15, Exploring Our World? Uh, I, I learned about uh, vocabulary activity in our, in the, uh, and, um, reading, uh, uh, the, the man is very old. And that, <laughs> and, All right. And study about present symbol, present, uh, present past symbol. Uh, make a sentence. Uh, make a sentence. Um, make a sentence about uh, uh, use uh, ir, uh, I don't know. I what is irregular, <laughs> irregular and and regular verbs. Very good. Yes. So we have learned about the regular verbs and irregular verbs. We also learned about how to use um, the verbs in the past simple using time in the past, like yesterday, yes, last year, and last month, few oh. seconds, those ones. So, Ken, if you are trying to make sentences, you can also use the time in the past, okay, so that your sentence will be more beautiful, okay? Okay, teacher. And the last one we have also learned uh, using a comparative more in a sentence. Okay? Okay. So don't forget your homework tomorrow. Okay, Ken? Okay, now I, after last, I do it now. All right, you will do your homework now. Oh, so okay. thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Ken. But before that, let's take a picture, okay? Okay. Let's take a picture because you got 13 stars. <laughs> okay, wait a moment. I'll fix my camera here. All right, here. Are you ready now? Yes. Yes. All right, let's take a picture. One, two, three. Smile, Ken. Uh, smile. Smile. Ken. Yes. One, two, three. All right, that's a great job. So thank you so much, Ken. I hope you have a great day today. So goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Bye. Bye-bye.